Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Mohammad Shamsur Adam Mamon, SCR Professor, Department of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, Adina Kids Medical College, Khulna. Today, we will be discuss about forensic ballistics, one of the branches of forensic medicine. That branch of forensic medicine, forensic ballistics, which deals with firearms and ammunition. And firearms, grossly, we should know about what is firearms this is the arms this is the firearms means that type of weapons the projectile a bullet or any other pellets and if we classified firearms then firearms should be classified on the basis of surface inner surface of the barrel that is smooth board firearms and rifle firearm that is smooth board barrel inner surface is smooth barrel this is the part where the bullet projectiles and in case of rifle firearms the inner surface of the barrel is multiple grooved and lens these are alternative groups and lengths and this causes the spinning movement of the bullet. In generally, today's modern, most of the firearm weapons are is the rifle firearm. And if we are uh, getting the examples of, there is the uh, smoothboard firearms, there is shotgun and examples of rifle firearm, that is automated pistol, rebel bar and that is rifle. What is the gunpowder? There is also, we should know the gunpowder. The gunpowder, uh, this type of powder, that is the uh, content of the bullet or projectiles. When this is burned, the gas produces, and that gas produces the force. The gunpowder, classification of the gunpowder, what type of gunpowder should be used? In most of the Short gun, there is the smooth board firearms, black gun powder is used. And in modern firearms, there is the all rifle firearms, there is the semi smokeless or smokeless gun powder. So, at that time, the gun powder are three types there is the black gun powder, smokeless gun powder, and semi smokeless gun powder. You should know the composition of black gun powder. This is the important for the undergraduate students composition of black gun powder. This is the potassium, sulfur, and charcoal. This is the potassium 75%, sulfur 10%, and charcoal 15%. And when the combustion of the black gun powder, it produces uh, 1 gram black gun powder combustion produces 3000 to 4500 cc gas. And comparatively, the smokeless gunpowder, 1 gram when burned, that produces 12,000 to 13,000 cc gas. So, when smokeless gunpowder is used, that giving the excess force to the projectile. That causes deeper penetration, deeper destruction. So, in modern firearms, is the smokeless gunpowder is used and the composition of the uh, smokeless gunpowder is nitrocellulose or nitroglycerin where it is single base or double base double base nitrocellulose or nitroglycerin is used that is the important the forensic pathologist that means uh, specialist of the forensic ballistics is the forensic ballistic specialist what should be done in medical legal purposes for firearms injury. The forensic ballistic specialist helps to identify the firearms, is it suicidal injury, homicidal injury or accidental injury and to determine the projectile should be fired uh, which type of gun or which gun. So that should be identification is possible and that uh, identification is done by forensic ballistic specialist. 
as like as for example if any projectile is from the firearms there is the depends on the position of the victim firearms owned whether it is suicidal or homicidal or suicidal suicidal firearms injury obviously injury occurs the accessible area of the victim that means the reaching point of the body that the victim's hand reaches so this is the common sites of the firearms injury this is the suicidal firearms injury the common sites as like temporal region uh, of the head uh, it is the most common site of the suicidal firearms injury and then others the forehead uh, floor of the mouth base of the chin uh, this is the front of the chest that all are accessible parts and homicidal there is the inaccessible for the victim so that is confirmed with the homicidal and others position of the uh, firearms there is the in case of firearms is near the victim or not nearer to the victim this is the if near to the victim is may be homicidal or may not be homicidal but uh, most of the case homicidal suicidal firearms injuries there is the uh, victim grips the firearms the hand or nearer to the victim and forensic ballistic specialist and after collection of the weapon uh, the firearms there is the fingerprint identification then site of the injury is the end the in case of homicidal firearms injury the detection of the firearms is possible by various examination the in case of rifle firearms it is very easy to identify detection of the firearms from the projectile because of inner surface of the rifling produces a scratch mark for the various groups and lengths which helps to identify the bullet as well as identification of firearms what is the uh, advantages of uh, rifle firearms in modern weapon this is the advantage of rifle firearm spinning movement of the bullet rifle firearm projectile penetrate the deeper structure and penetrate the hard structure more accuracy for the spinning movement as for example if we uh, drilled wall it is easy but if we implant the plain pin into the wall by hammer it is very tough so spinning movement is more deeper structure damage and more penetrating power so now you should know the uh, various terminology that means uh, choking what do you mean by choking choking and uh, there is the um, this term and same spelling same meaning uh, this term is used in case of firearms and in case of violent asphyxial death so now we should uh, talking about the firearms choking there is the constriction of the terminal part of the barrel that means choking and in case of choking it helps to leakage of gas and that as well as helps in uh, increase the force of for the projectile we should know the marshall triad and marshall triad the in case of bomb blast injury the uh, various types of pellet a projectile that means injured and, and occurs three types of injury at a time and that the bruise abrasion and punctate laceration combinedly called as the marshall triad so these are the gross discussion about the firearms injury for undergraduate students thank you so much